now if I click on app switcher it's gonna bring app switcher I can go back home I can bring up a notification center or I can invoke control center just like that today I would like to share you a new feature from iOS 18 uh, where it allow you to control uh, the iPhone so let's say if you have two iPhones and you can control one uh, one from the other so let's say if I want to control my iPhone 8 I can control from my iPhone 8s Mac so now if I click on app switcher it's gonna bring app switcher I can go back home I can bring up a notification center or I can invoke control center just like that and we have some more button right there uh, where you can play pause we have like specific uh, button right there with this feature it is only available on iOS 18 which means that if you have the iPhone 7 it does not work because iOS 18 only support from iPhone 8, 8 plus and later now let me show you how to enable this feature in order to get this feature to work you need to make sure that uh, both of these iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi and one more thing you need to sign in with the same Apple ID as you can see here I have the same Apple ID and then you need to make sure that and then you need to make sure that AirDrop is also uh, enabled on both of these devices I have already enabled both of them now to enable it you need to go into accessibility and then you're gonna scroll down you're gonna find accessibility shortcut make sure you select on control nearby devices and then to enable it you need to triple click on the side button but if you have uh, the iPhone 8 you need to uh, triple click on the home button now let me enable it by simply select on the device here and we can go into uh, app switcher, notification, control center and more by click on the three dot button it bring up more menu I think this feature is very essential for the iPad let's say if you own the iPad and the iPhone at the same time you can control uh, the iPad by using your iPhone and you don't want to touch your iPad because uh, you far away from it you can like control with music like play and pause or you can increase the volume or decrease the volume uh, by control on the iPhone so it is a very essential feature in my opinion uh, same for watching I hope you like this quick update then we'll see you guys in the next one